Just last week, Congressman Chris Jacobs dropped out of the congressional race after receiving a GOP backlash for supporting a federal ban on assault weapons. Now Nick Langworthy is running against fellow Republican Carl Palladino. Palladino is no stranger to politics. He ran for governor in 2010 but lost against Andrew Cuomo. I did reach out to Palladino's office but was unable to reach their communications person. I also reached out to Chairman Langworthy but he was unavailable for an interview today. In a taped announcement yesterday, Langworthy says he's ready to take on key issues New York is facing. Families can't afford to buy groceries. Open borders with dangerous drugs pouring through. Our police are under attack and criminals get coddled while law-abiding citizens' Second Amendment rights are being threatened. The Biden White House can't even get formula to feed our nation's babies. Incompetence and dangerous far-left ideology are making us less safe, less prosperous, and they're threatening America's future. And when it comes to the newly drawn congressional districts, Jen Wilson with the Board of Elections tells me many New Yorkers were invested in the matter. Well, we had a lot of people who called and wanted to see the maps, wanted to know where they could access the maps, were very curious about where their new district was and if they ha were going to have new representation, which of course everyone will because <laughs> it is everyone is going to have a, a potentially new person representing them in Congress after the election in November. Normally a congressional candidate needs 1,200 signatures to get on the ballot. But with the newly drawn maps and less time to get petitions, a candidate only needs 1,062 signatures. It was a very short timeline to collect those signatures, particularly for party candidates. It was just about less than a month to collect those. But we have definitely seen some folks come in person. Some candidates also file in New York City or file at different county boards. So I think there'll be a fairly large slate of candidates that will be having ballot consideration. The deadline to submit those petitions to get on the ballot is today. Reporting at the Capitol, Amel Talaji. Well, Indian Ladder Farms is going to be going back in time this